Thanks, Dawson. A social media threat not only threatens safety, but the livelihood of those found guilty. The charge of terrorizing is serious even for a juvenile. Tonight, 15th Judicial District Attorney Don Landry tells News 10's Renee Allen he has a plan. According to state law, the charge of terrorizing it carries a fine of up to $15,000 or 15 years of imprisonment or both for a person under the age of 18. That's a lot of time to give away. The social media threats that have recently poured into area schools have sent another message. Parents, law enforcement and community leaders are crying out. You know what, as a parent, and as a first responder, yes, it is scary because our children are at these schools. People are asking that something be done to get young people to realize the severity and impact of terrorizing through social media. Should be one of mine. Y'all don't have to send the police. Y'all send the ambulance. You know, because we need to start letting them know the severity of how serious this is. District Attorney Don Landry wants to carry the message straight to students. Landry has a plan to team up with the parish school system. Uh, asking them to allow us to come in and explain to our young people how serious we are about these violations of law. He says he spoke with local law enforcement who expressed a willingness to go into the schools with him. There's a safety concern, he says, that begins when the call of a social media threat is reported. We've got police cars with lights and sirens. We've got fire trucks with lights and sirens. Certainly there could be an accident on the way over, trying to get there as quickly as possible. Another charge is menacing. That carries a penalty of up to $1,000 or two years of imprisonment or both. Renee Allen for Gail FY News 10. Thanks, Renee. Now, the DA believes parents could be sued for damages associated with these online threats. The parish school district tells us that's a discussion that may be taken up at tomorrow's board meeting.